Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're building modern applications with CI slash CD pipelines, you know that managing database schema changes alongside your application code can be tricky. Getting it wrong can cause all sorts of headaches. How do you ensure your database is updated correctly and reliably as part of your automated deployments? What is Liquibase Pro? It's a tool that helps you align those database code changes with your application code changes by using a version-based approach to updating your database schema. Think of it as version control specifically for your database structure. And what's an AWS Quick Start? It's an automated reference deployment built by AWS Partners and AWS itself, designed to help you deploy popular technologies rapidly and securely according to AWS best practices. So, this Quick Start gives you a ready-made environment for Liquibase Pro. Let's look at the architecture this Quick Start deploys. It sets up a complete pipeline for managing your database scripts and deploying them to different environments. Your database scripts, your Liquibase change logs and SQL files, are stored securely in AWS CodeCommit, that's AWS Managed Git Repository Service. Anytime changes are pushed to the main branch in CodeCommit, Amazon EventBridge detects that change and triggers the pipeline. The entire process is orchestrated by AWS CodePipeline, which models, visualizes, and automates the steps required to release your database changes. Within the pipeline, AWS CodeBuild is used. This is where Liquibase Pro actually runs. CodeBuild executes your Liquibase commands to apply the database schema changes defined in your scripts. Sensitive information, like your database credentials and your Liquibase Pro license key, are stored securely in AWS Secrets Manager. Pipeline artifacts and logs are stored in Amazon S3 for auditing. Reference provided text and diagram, target databases and VPC. Where do these changes get deployed? The quick start sets up three Amazon RDS PostgreSQL databases, one each for your testing, staging, and production environments. These databases are deployed within a secure virtual private cloud, VPC, configured with public and private subnets following best practices. This gives you isolated environments to manage your database releases. A crucial part of this pipeline, as shown in the diagram, is the approval gates. After deploying to the test environment, code pipeline pauses, requiring a manual approval before proceeding to staging. And again, approval is needed before deploying to production. This ensures you have control and review steps in your database release process. This pipeline-based approach, integrating database changes directly into your CI-CD workflow with Liquibase Pro and AWS services, is considered a best practice. It helps align your database deployments with your application deployments, provides version control for your database schema, and gives you a repeatable, automated process, reducing the risk of errors compared to manual updates or less integrated methods. Getting this setup is straightforward thanks to the quick start. You need a Liquibase Pro license, and then you simply launch the AWS CloudFormation template provided by the quick start. It handles provisioning all the AWS resources we just discussed. You can choose to deploy it into a brand new VPC or integrate it into your existing AWS network. Once deployed, testing your own changes is easy. You just add your new Liquibase scripts to the SQL files folder in the CodeCommit repository, commit the changes, and the pipeline automatically kicks off. Have you used Liquibase or AWS Quick Starts? What are your thoughts on database change management in CI/CD? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.